Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today it's a different topic. It's not related to any questions to answer. This is a topic where we have to talk about our Rasul, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It is a great opportunity to tell, to describe about our inspirator. There, but there, there are many people who describe him, but a pure describer is the one who knows about our Rasul, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by step by step knows everything about him study everything about him but i'm i'll make sure that i'll do my best let's try inshallah describing about our prophet our prophet was all inspiring when we see him his face is like a moon like we see on usually in laylatul qadr his face is always radiating striking and He's the man who is beautifully created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. From far, our Rasul was the most striking and outstanding in appearance. And when we talk about his color, there is no racism. But when we talk about his color, he wasn't nasty white or nasty black. It was a middle. It was is every appearance when we talk in ranges. It comes in middle. It comes in optimum. Let me say you why. Because when we talk about his height, when we talk about his hair, when we talk about his speak, everything comes in optimum. Come, let's see why is in optimum. See, when we talk about his height, is neither tall nor short. Is perfectly at the middle. So nobody else has to strain their eyes to look up or look down to see him. Is correct. Is is straight to our face and no need to strain our eyes mashallah and when we talk about his hair it's not neither curly nor silky it is a blend and when we speak about his tone of speaking it, it used to be soft and the and he didn't spoke for a longer period of time it used to be like short but logic and it used to be straight and is every commands the way he speak was commanding and order giving voice it used to be clear and naturally echoing and heard by everyone it was like a pearl in a thread which are arranged all together without overlapping and held and not held loosely and shined perfectly. This is the way our Rasul, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, used to speak. When he talk about his body parts, or when we let let us come through face, start from face. So his forehead is broad. His eyebrows are you know arky. You know, you know it, it used to be in a particular angle. It it used to be curvy, but they did not merged. His eyelashes were long and clean and shiny. He had a vein in his forehead which used to be appeared rarely when he is sad or when he is, you know, focusing. And when you talk about his nose, his upper part of the nose was so beautiful. It has kind of bridges like of appearance and it was clean. He had a full beard. His, his eyes were dark and contrasting, neither too dark nor too white. It was optimum. His chin was beautiful and his mouth was well folded. So that that's the reason why he he so Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to speak properly, correctly, and his pronunciation used to be perfect. And when we talk about uh, his teeth, it used to be clean, a bit spaces used to be there. And when you talk about his neck. It used to be tall and clean. And when we uh, speak about his outward accessory, that includes uh, the dress he wear, the type of dress we, he wear, it all used to be perfect. And when we talk about his stomach and chest, it used to be an equal level. That means that his stomach was not protruding. His stomach was not protruding till he was 60 years at his 60 years also it was not protruding. MashaAllah. 
his chest as had less airs and it was broad even his shoulder and between his shoulder and his chest was his thorax where we can see the adam's apple and when we talk about his stomach arms shoulder um, shoulders and some parts of his chest had a little bit of airs his feet were art strong and smooth but when we see the desert people of those days they walk in hot sands and different places due to which their feet used to become rough and uh, you know uh, not smooth but a rasul peace be upon him his feet was soft clean and smooth mashallah and the way he walked he walked softly he walked as if he's walking in a inclined plane and when he used to answer someone's question he used to not just turn his head and just answer and leave he used to turn his whole body and answer them with respect to show them respect that i will answer you but he used to not show his eyes upward he used to be it used to be groundward which is a sign of respect to other people and when he looked at other people he used to not stare for a longer period of time he used to, his, his focus used to not be fixed for a longer period of time because of the effect that would have on those people when rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was with allah's creations when our rasul was with the creations made up by allah the environment the people his family he used to be happy smiling uh, giving respect to others but when it comes to his creator when it comes to allah when he used to do prayer when he used to read quran when he used to do uh, dua he used to be disciplined he used to be silent and almost like depression which other people thought but it was uh, and sign that he was showing so respect to allah then in some of the hadith and has been malik said once he just came out of his house and it was night night time so uh it was a full moon day a uh, full moon night sorry and he looked at the moon and it was very gorgeous as usual shiny white uh, uh, striking radiating and uh, when compared to sun which is a scorching and that they used to be so moon is very beautiful and it is a sign of beauty what we say but but anas bin malik thought why can't i compare the beauty of moon with a rasul peace be upon him and even near rasul and he thought like let me compare who is handsome who looks brilliant who looks more radiant who looks more striking and he saw rasul he saw